Welcome to Snail Plus, our soil nailing software by Deep Excavation. This video will present how you can quickly generate a model with a Snail Plus of a soil nail wall. When you start the program, you only have two options. You have a project in from the model wizard. We'll select the model wizard. We have a wizard where we can define the model width. We'll leave it at 160 feet. We can change the units, English metric, and so on. We'll put a surface angle of 10 degrees for a slope. Let's put an elevation of 50. And the side braid elevation at elevation 10. Let's change the angle to 80 degrees. You can also specify the slope by vertical to horizontal. We'll start off with the initial horizontal and vertical spacing for the nails. And initial length. And we can include all the intermediate construction stages for the excavation. We could also include groundwater effects if we wanted. We're assuming a 10 inch diameter. Click next. We'll define a new uh, shot grid section, 8 inches. We can uh, select the wire reinforcement. For the top and bottom bars as well as the clearance. We'll use the stage facing for temporary and permanent conditions. We'll select an 8 inch plate with studs and we'll also use welder bars. We can change the grade, the strength of the concrete. For the reverb, we'll leave 60 ksi. We'll select the fits WA allowable stress methods, but it's also possible to use uh, LRFD approaches or Eurocode 7 if one wants to. The program now created all the stages of the excavation for the soil nail wall. And if we zoom in with the roller button, we can see how everything changed. Now apparently here our studs extend beyond the slab, so we have to make sure to address this issue. So we'll click edit on the slab section and to increase the slab thickness, let's say to 12 inches, to make sure that our studs are inside uh, the shot grid section. We can double click on the soil profile and here we can edit soil layers. Initially these are horizontal but you can also use layers that are not horizontal. So we have the soil type, the effective cohesion, effective friction angle. Let's put a bond strength of 20 psi here. That's an ultimate bond strength. And similarly So have created this profile. We could draw in loads. And here on the right yellow table we see the basic assumptions that are available. So on every stage the program is using different assumptions regarding the safety factors to describe the conditions. This can change from here, where we can define typical slope conditions, temporary excavation, Temporary structure long term, permanent structure long term, extreme seismic and uh, extreme event, high water. With that, all right, we're basically ready to analyze this uh, soil nail wall. We have analyzed that and we have the summary for all the stages as well as the plate stress checks. And we see the results. for every stage. So we have to make sure that the, the minimum required safety factor is met for every stage. And we have to make sure that we satisfy that we don't get any reds. We can see now on every stage the support reactions on the soil nails, the stress checks, 
and we see that we have a punching issue when we have the temporary stage. Now in the analysis options, if we click inside here, there's options to use the working force head instead of using the nail strength. There's further options as well here that you can explore. So when we do that, the program uses the mobilized force at the nail head to compute the structural checks for the plates. Now we can see the assumed pressures, apparent pressures behind the soil nail wall. <coughs> and one of the nice things is we can go out and we can print the calculations for the current stage. And the program will produce all the calculations for the current stage. You can also include that in your report. And uh, this way you can follow exactly what the program is assuming, what it's doing, you can check and verify. If you click on report options, you can select which stages to include, what results to uh, use. And you can preview export to PDF, export to Word. So this is what the summary looks like. Now you don't have to stay off with only one wall. You can right click here, add the stages, excavate, go to general, then draw a facing and then also draw soil nails then you have to make sure that the soil nails are attached to the second facing and when you change we need to change in that case the search limits and make sure that we cover the second wall So we need to check the corners of this point, 23.54. So when we double click on the search limits, on the right side we can change to something like 28. And now we can reevaluate the case with two walls. This concludes our initial presentation of Snail Plus. Uh, please feel free to contact us. We can arrange another demonstration if you would like. Uh, and we can answer any further questions that you may have. Thank you.